Hey, this is T.W. Jackson. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the site here. Uh, you can call me T.W. And I wanted to do a video for you that I am hoping will really help you out. Whether you decide to come back and visit my site or not, uh, I'm hoping this will be something you can take with you, take with you today, and that will really help you out. Because I know if you're visiting, you're going through a really tough time now with a breakup. And I uh, answer gosh hundreds of emails every month I get a lot more but unfortunately I just can't keep up and from time to time I get uh, real letters by the post which is really really cool um, I got one just the other day um, I'm gonna cover the guy's name up the return address to keep it private but this was on March 27th um, but let me show you that here right quick um, T.W. Jackson if you'd like to write to me I'd love to love to get a letter from you at 608 West Parkway uh, PMB 123 in Russellville Arkansas and that's 72801 just out here in the country uh, just the old country boy like I told you uh, if you've read through a little bit the uh, introduction in the letter uh, ex-service guy I've been through the military all all kinds of countries and states and stuff but that's enough about me uh, all the time I get letters and emails from folks and they've just got um, you know word of the breakup and man you know it's such an emotional emotional <laughs> and trying time there you have to excuse me I, I don't do a whole lot of these videos so I hope it comes across helpful for you but I'll probably do a little bumbling but look what happens a lot of times is somebody gets that uh, initial breakup whether it be in a letter or face to face and they just kind of go insane for a little while that's I mean that's the best way to put it just kind of an insanity and they start doing what I call text message terrorism they're text messaging back and forth and and uh, uh, just trying to figure you know figure out what's happened uh, or do they have somebody else they're really seeing or is what they're telling you the truth why are they breaking up uh, uh, professing their undying love. Uh, another common occurrence is what I call drunk dialing. Uh, it's when you go out, you try to forget about everything, but you go out and you have a few drinks, and before you know it, you're on the phone, uh, dialing up your ex, talking to your ex, and basically, you know, kind of making a, a fool out of yourself. And don't, if you've done that, don't feel bad. Uh, that happens to so many people, uh, you would just not believe. And, you know, I've been there before, too. So, uh, what do you do? And the thing you should do is count, is very, very counterintuitive to what you feel inside of what you, what, what happens. So, instead of doing the drunk dialing, the text message terrorism, we're trying to get in front of them and, and, and you know, trying to, to keep that relationship together. You got to kind of do what I call it's a kind of ninja, kind of jujitsu. If you've ever heard of jujitsu uh, or uh, what is that, judo, um, what you want to do is kind of use the force. You know, if they're apply, applying a karate chop to you, you want to use that force not against them, but you want to use that force and kind of deflect it. Um, and that is really your, your first move. And you're probably saying, what the heck are you talking about, T.W.? You just totally confused me. Uh, so here's what I mean. The first thing you want to do is you just want to agree with the breakup. Okay? You want to agree with the breakup. Now, you may have already be past this point. I'm going to talk about that here in a second. But in a perfect world, in a theoretical situation, you know, they say, John, you know, this is not working out. I'm done. I've had it. That's it. And what John should do is say, you know what? You're right. I've seen this coming, and a breakup is the best thing for both of us. In fact, if he could, you don't want to overplay it, but what would be really good is if he took that and went a step further and kind of made that like his freedom. <laughs> did you see what I'm saying so what he would do is say you know what I, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because I've been thinking the same thing for a long time and it's probably the best thing to do now you're probably thinking well you know what T-Dub <laughs> I'm way past that point I've already done all the text message terrorism 
Uh, you know, I've talked to their parents, I've talked to their brothers and sisters, and you know, I've kind of put myself in a bad position. So what do you do now? Well, there's a lot of different opening moves, and but one of the most effective ones is just to write a short handwritten letter and just say, hey, you know what? I was kind of acting kind of crazy, but you're exactly right. I agree that you know we should be split up, we should be broken up, and it's probably the best thing for both of us. And that is your opening move right there. And it's, it's an opening move. It's not, it's the, like the opening chess move. It's not the end of the game. It's not the, or anything. But you have to get on their side. You have to agree with them. You have to let them go before they're ever going to want to come back. There's a lot of reasons why this works. Uh, one of them is that people want what they can't have. I mean, we all know this, uh, and it works in other fields too, in finances and banking. You know, when's the hardest time to get credit? When you have zero credit. They don't want to give you any credit if you don't have any credit. It's only if you have money, you know, that they want to give you credit, or have, if you have credit, they'll give you some credit. So it, it's a tough situation. The same thing with job. How do you get a job if you don't have any experience. You got to have that experience first. And there's, there's some point in there where you just got to get some traction there. But that is your opening move. And what the rest of my course, The Magic of Making Up, does is take that opening move and tells you where you should go from there. But that just that opening move is extremely helpful. And I've seen it bring back a lot of relationships just by getting that opening move out there and saying, hey, you know what, I agree with the breakup, uh, I'm, I'm calm, you know, I'm cool. You don't say I'm calm and cool, but you want to give that tone that you're calm and you're cool and you're collected about it, and you're right. Hey, you know what? You're exactly right. It's the best thing both of us could have done. Let me give you a little example really, really quick. Uh, I had a guy just email me. He was set to go to the Bahamas with his girlfriend. Uh, he's quite frantic, really nice guy, but he's quite frantic. Uh, his girlfriend has told him just recently that, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's not funny, but she told him just recently that she wanted to still go to the Bahamas with him, but just go as friends. Now, this fella, and I'm not going to tell you his name, uh, wrote me and said, hey, you know, what do I do? Do I take her along and take her along just as friends? You know, we're not really broken up. And, you know, the first thing is that when a girl tells you they just want to go to Bahamas as friends, you're broken up, okay? So what he should do is not even cancel the trip. See, all of his friends are telling him to cancel the trip, and you don't even want to cancel the trip. What you should do is say, hey, you know what, you're right, and... I've been even been thinking about doing this breakup. You know what I'm going to do is don't worry about the Bahamas. I'm going to take a friend, in quotes, and he doesn't have to say who it is. I'm going to take a friend with me to the Bahamas, and we're going to go down there and have the time of our lives. And that would be his opening move. Now, I know you're sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, what about, you know, she's, who's the friend? You know, if she asks who the friend is, you say, I'm not sure yet. You just kind of leave that open. You're okay with the breakup. You're going to go on and continue with your life. In fact, you're going to go on and, and, and make your life Fabulous. So, uh, if you're already beyond that point, try that letter, handwritten. Don't text message it. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't call them and tell them. Just write a really fast handwritten letter and fire that off to them. And you want it to be that you're okay with the break and say, hey, you know, you're right. That was the best thing that both of us could possibly do. And that is your opening move. And then you've got to get with yourself and be okay with it yourself. Once you do that, you're on the right road. It works and it works very well. I hope this video helps you. Please read on down uh, beneath. You'll find some other really helpful stuff there. There's another video below this and I look forward to talking with you in the future and drop me a letter if you want to. I'd sure like to hear from you. I try to get to all of them but sometimes I, I'm just over, man, they just come in too fast. So. Uh, I love to help folks out though, and I've got my contact uh, email address. Let me hear from you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.